In this video, I'll show you how to tether a camera to Lightroom Classic CC. First, we'll start off with a Sony camera, and then I'll show you how to set up a Canon or a Nikon camera. We're not going to use any plugins, and it's all for free. So we're going to start off with a Sony camera. We know that Sony cameras cannot connect directly to Lightroom and use the tethering. What we have to do is we have to install the software. We have to go to the Sony Imaging Edge desktop software site and i'll leave a link in the description and this is the download page you can download for windows or mac so go ahead and download that and install it and there's a small setup on our sony camera that we have to do before we actually hook it up let's do that so the camera i'm using is a sony a6600 and to get to the change we need to make go over to this toolbox right here it says setup one and over to setup four and where it says usb connection make sure that it says pc remote i think i had mine on auto before but make sure that pc remote is checked and just in case you see usb connection grayed out i've done this before come back over here to network one and it could be that your control with smartphone is on you need to make sure that it is off so again if this is on it's possibly going to cause your usb connection to be grayed out so that you can't change it. So that's the only thing we need to do on our Sony cameras to make it work with the Imaging Edge software. So before you open the Imaging Edge software, there's some things that you probably need to check for. Make sure that you don't have Lightroom open or Dropbox, or in my case, backup and sync from Google. So I'm on a Mac and I had to launch Activity Monitor and see I have backup and sync from Google running. I need to quit that. So now it's time to hook up your camera to the computer. So you can probably use a cable that came with your camera. It's just hooks to your camera and into USB port. And you can also purchase a large cable from Tether Tools. You know, once you see that you like this method, turn on your camera. You want to click on the Imaging Edge desktop software and where it says remote up here, click start and the remote screen comes up and you see your camera model right here. And so if you double click on your model name and it doesn't find your camera, you can press the refresh and sometimes you may have a problem. And if you do, this will happen. It'll remind you of some of the things that we went over and maybe you skip like changing your USB connection to PC remote. And if you need more help, you can click here on this link and it'll bring up a web page to give you more suggestions, but normally you won't have to do this. I have this problem because my recording software is on right now. But now double clicking on your camera model, you see a window come up saying waiting response from camera and then the remote window should open. So now here is my camera. It's hooked up to Imaging Edge and Imaging Edge sees everything that my lens sees. You can go through all these features of the software if you wanna use it, but all we need to do is come down here to where it says save settings and where it says save in we're going to point this to a location on our computer where we want our photos to go from imaging edge so click on these three dots right here and i've created a folder called tether folder on my desktop i'm going to select that and say open and so this is the destination folder of all our photos that come from imaging edge so that's all we need to do in this software we leave it running and now we're going to start lightroom classic now with Lightroom Classic open. This is the last step. Come up here to File, Auto Import, and Enable Auto Import should be checked. But go into Auto Import Settings, check Enable Auto Import, Watched Folder. I'm going to choose the folder on my desktop that I created. That's Tether Folder. So remember, that's the folder that we set up inside of the Imaging Edge software. So now Lightroom needs a destination that it's going to move it to. So my path is my pictures. 2021 so you would hit choose and decide on your computer where you want that to be and then you give it a subfolder name now lightroom is going to create the subfolder for you and it's going to be in this move to path and you can add a collection if you want to create a collection that you want this to go into also you can set that up right here you can set it as the target collection and sync with lightroom you can change the file name you have all these options here you can customize the naming convention for a file name in any develop settings that you want any presets you can add them here add any metadata that you want we're just going to say okay and now in this case all we have to do is take a picture we don't have to turn on tethered capture we're using auto import so i can take a picture up is going to pop up 
the viewer. And down here is the folder we set up in the auto import settings, tether test. And I have my camera set to capture raw file and JPEG. That's what you, there's two images there. You can take another photo. You're going to see it pop up through the viewer on the imaging edge. And here's the photo that I took. So that's how you would tether with a Sony camera into Lightroom Classic CC. If you're getting value out of this so far, hit that like button and consider subscribing. Now I'll show you how to tether with a Canon or a Nikon camera. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the Adobe support page that has information on all the supported cameras for Canon and Nikon. So now for Canon tethering, I have my Canon 5D Mark III here and I have my tether tools cable here and it's got a USB connection on the other end that's hooked to my computer. So in Lightroom, all we have to do is come up here to File, Tethered Capture, Start Tethered Capture. So session name up here, this is gonna create a folder wherever I choose down here in the location. And for the naming, you have all these choices here for a file name format that you choose. I just go with a session name and sequence. And I'm gonna start this back at one. Of course, click on Choose to choose your destination location. And of course you can add a collection, create any collection you want, give the collection a name. You can put it in a collection set. You can set it as the target collection in sync with Lightroom or sync with the cloud. You say create, make sure it's selected. And since it's synced to the cloud, you can actually share this collection. You can have a link to it and you can share it so people can see your shoot as it's in progress or they can see it later. But it's a great way for a client to see your photos as you're doing your shoot. Of course, any metadata that you want, any presets, it's all pretty straightforward. And you say, OK, create your folder name and say, OK, make sure your camera is on. Lightroom is looking for my camera. My camera is detected now. And of course, you can move this tether bar around. If you hit Command T or Control T, it will hide it because you don't want to see that in the way. This drop down here, if you're shooting with multiple cameras, you can switch between those. If you click on Live, it'll open up the Live View. And in the case of this Canon 5D Mark III, it has Live View. There's a Live View. And you can control aperture, ISO, white balance and you can take a photo and you can use the capture button or take a photo. Let's develop settings here. You take this over to the development module and say you want to change some of these settings here. Just kind of dial in things. And if you want to keep on taking pictures of the same subject, what you can do is click the same as previous. So what happens is the next time that I snap a photo, it's going to use these same settings here. So I'm going to take a photo of this guitar body again and you could see that it applied the same settings that it had from the photo before so that's kind of handy to keep your settings consistent if you're shooting the same subject but that's how easy it is to tether with canon or nikon if you want more tutorials like this click or tap on one of the videos on the screen now if you haven't already subscribe like and share this video thanks for watching and remember it's never too late to learn see you in the next video